they think I'm condescending huh? These condescending When your comments mention me, there's consequences This holocaust reading all the war While I'm sipping Molotovs with the oligarchs of the Oval Office Leave your caucus in the car with car marks and car exhaust With the windows drawn, smoke your lungs like Benny Anders. But you wish it was electric, but you've been Amish Roll the dice, the soldiers type the psycho potent guys Pyro burning mics, homicidal lines, I'm writing on spines You viral lines, I'm mine, oh why I slide a cryptic slice I'm sick, I spit how quick they fit, but if you can Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get a free willy Get your mind out of the gutter What's going on YouTube? It's Nox Hill, and we're back with our reaction series So today, today, man Today is Friday. Yes, I know. I'm sure there's already a number of you panicking because I already had an upload. Eminem did just one of the, the greatest moments in hip-hop history. He got on a song with Nas, so obviously I had to do that. I'm a huge Eminem fan. You guys know that who follow the channel. But listen, it is Friday, which means more ERB, so I'm not leaving you hanging. We are back with your recommendation of Elvis Presley versus Michael Jackson. But before we go any further, let me give a quick shout out to the song in the intro. If you guys like that, yes, I'm a rapper myself. This is a good chance to like my breakdowns, the way I think about music. You'll probably like my music as well. If you want to support me and support this channel directly, I'll put the link to that song below. Also, I read a stat, 70% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Shame on you, people. Shame on you. In all seriousness, watch this video. If you like it, if you enjoy it, please consider supporting the channel directly and subscribing. I really appreciate it. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. Elvis, Michael, yeah, let's do this. Step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Okay. Jackson is beating the track up right now. Every record that you set, you know, we have one king of rock and roll versus the king of pop. Michael Jackson has come through and swept all those records aside in terms of sales and singles and drops and everything else in between. And I also like the uh, the Elvis Presley, You Stole Rock and Roll, which is a very sort of infamous diss against Elvis Presley nowadays saying that you know he borrowed a lot from uh from blues from black musicians and artists and listen he's even come out and said yeah like I used to go to the black churches I was inspired by the gospel music by the soul by it all I mean I think that's the thing that gets silted people are acting like he just like stole it and never acknowledged it no he acknowledged what he was influenced by listen as artists we're influenced by so much and we draw from different places I mean even B.B. King came out uh, Little Richard came out and said you know Elvis helped to shine a light on our music and helped us to really break through as artists so I don't know, it's just, why am I going off on this and setting up a podium for this? Because it's just, it's it's a critique of Elvis that happens all the time, and uh, yeah, might as well set the record straight. But it is a good diss because it is, you know, it's a diss that's commonly accepted, isn't it? And at the end of the day, there's, there's roots of, uh, there's elements of truth behind it in terms of his influences and what sort of led to his style and everything. And obviously, if you have two left feet, you can't dance very well, so he's saying, you know, hey, all the ladies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy, but in this case, Elvis, you, you got no rhythm, bro. You can't, you can't dance. What is this little, like, stanky leg that you're doing with that foot, huh? Ah, uh, epileptic, get it? I've seen it, playing off of that. That's clever. And obviously, I didn't even talk about this because I was surprised by it. We've got the, uh, the younger Michael Jackson, the Jackson 5 Michael Jackson in the building right now. This is a funky beat for it, too, with just kind of the sense of the way this beat is going off. I thought maybe we would have had, like, a little... Maybe we'll get rock and roll and Elvis go. <laughs> oh, Elvis did a did a cover of uh, "Burning Love," and I'm a hunk of burning love. Get it? And he's dropping hunks, and this is true. He he died on the toilet. It's pretty shitty, isn't it? Uh, it's, uh, it's a crappy way to go out. Yeah, let me just flush that one down. Okay, I'm done. I'm done on that one. I still can't get over this beat and how just weird and retro-y and synthy it is. It's just like, 
I don't know. I felt like it would have been dope if we could have sampled something from MJ and so many of his classics and his style and then maybe sampled some from Elvis and his style. But maybe we'll get there. Also, I mixed, kind of missed the Rockabilly Cheese line. I realized that if I don't point something out, there's going to be a thousand people just Googling every single thing and just telling me the minute details that I missed. So, you know, Rockabilly, Elvis, he also sampled from Country, Hillbilly, playing off of that. Yeah, don't and yeah, Elvis, uh, well, bad lifestyle decisions at the end of his life. He was very overweight. He liked his food and he liked his drugs as well. He didn't just die like shitting on the toilet. Like he was, you know, trying to push one out and all of a sudden it got constipated. And, oh, heart attack seizure over. Ah, there's some good ones there. Annie, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay, Annie. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me today. Honestly, I've already done my Eminem reaction and I think I've just I apologize. I apologize to you all. You you get this knox today. Man, it's a bad one. So Smooth Criminal, one of Michael Jackson's famous, famous songs. Uh, Alien Ant Farm did a dope cover of it too as well. If you guys want to check that out, I recommend it. And then what else do we have? There was more. There was more. Oh, I'm bad. Yeah. I'm bad. Yeah, we got that one. We got that one. We like the song references around here. Just paying homage. And that's a bar. That's a battle rap bar right there. Shoot you from the waist up. Get He's got the gun out. He's shooting you from the waist up and on the Ed Sullivan show because, you know, uh, El Mr. Elvis was getting jiggy with it and really shaking those hips. It was, uh... It was very daring at the time, you know? Very, uh, yeah, very eye-opening. So they decided not to show those hips gyrating around, and they just shot them from the waist up. Woo! Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. I love that flow. That's a bit of that trap flow right there, boy. Oh, good. I just had to check that we were recording. Obviously, Michael Jackson, known for his moonwalking. Elvis, known for his blue suede shoes, which he's put into a song before as well. So don't walk my blue suede shoes. In this case, Michael Jackson is walking all over it. Also, the Blu-ray lines. Wow, there's a lot to break down today. When Michael Jackson died, they had the, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but... It was about, you know, him in preparation for his final tour, which never actually happened, but that Blu-ray just <sighs> sold out records. Nice flow. I like that. I'm the king of pop, you're the king of jelly rolls. And again, Elvis likes his food later in life, that's for sure. And Michael Jackson was a member of the Jackson 5. A, B, C. It's as easy as one, two, three. All right, that's it. That's that. That is, I swear that is my last one, people. If not, sexy chicken will cancel. Oh, this is great, man. This is this is good. I love the way he's impersonating Elvis, and even the way that he sings and kind of delivers it. Da, 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 da. And he's ah, this is this. This is nice. This is nice. And obviously the wordplay died on the shitter, but I don't give a crap. You had me do the crappy wordplay earlier. There we go. <laughs> one for the money, two for the show. In this case, he's going one for your monkey, Michael Jackson. Wait, somebody comment below the name of his random ass monkey that he always used to do interviews and, and stuff. Three for your family because Jackson 5, Joe Jackson, was just an example of terrible parenting. And that's why I, I ultimately think that's why Michael got all eccentric and fucked up later on in life was, yeah, I mean, getting parented by that and just being forced to perform and not even have a childhood. Yeah, it happens to a lot of childhood celebrities, doesn't it? So obviously three for your family. We know the story behind that now. Four for your nose. One too many plastic surgeries gone wrong on my, Mr. Jackson's nose, that's for sure. Monkey, a two for your coat. Three for your family and a four for your nose. You nice. You to talk about them ABCs, because all you want to do is teach. There we go, Jackson 5 ABCs. Hey. And a four for your nose. You better surrender to talk about them ABCs, because all you want to do is teach kids the birds and the bees. This is the big time Jack-O-No. Dress for her. I'll light you up. 
Oh, it wasn't Michael called Wacko Jacko at one point? Yeah, he was. And, oh, oh no, we're going there. What can I say without getting censored? Baby, a family and a fool you know. You better surrender to talk about them ABCs. Because all you want to do is teach kids the birds and the bees. This is... <sighs> That's ruthless. That is ruthless from Mr. Presley. Uh, we all know the child allegations that Michael faced on Neverland Ranch. Um... Nothing, to be fair, was ever substantiated. A lot of claims. Seemed like a lot of uh, money chasing. Um, but what I will say is that he was still weird. He still did some weird things. Yeah. That's as far as we'll go with that. YouTube, I'm family friendly. If any manual reviewers are watching this. You better surrender to talk about them ABCs Because all you want to do is teach kids the birds and the bees This is the big time jack on the dress for her To light you up like your hair in a Pepsi commercial I can tell you're angry, but I can't Eminem trolled the hell out of Michael uh, on Just Lose It When he dressed up as Michael and burned his hair And that is a true story Michael burned his hair in a Pepsi commercial That's a good burn It's getting, getting a little hot in here Lloyd is doing just a great job with the mannerisms of Elvis in the voice, man. This is cool because, again, this is a rap battle, but it's still like he's sing rapping right now in Elvis's style. I like Dress it. Dress to light you up like your hair in a Pepsi commercial. I can tell you're angry, but I can't comprehend it. I stole from black culture. Why are you offended? Your daddy be go record daddy like that. <laughs> That was a terrible time to take a sip of water. I almost just blew that out all over my microphone. <laughs> that is amazing. That is a great... Oh, that's fucking... That's mean. That is mean. That is a great rebuttal to uh, MJ's diss there. <laughs> I, yeah. So I'm going to admit it. Okay. You want to say I stole from black culture? I did. So why are you offended? Because, yeah, well, Michael just had... So much skin pigmentation alteration that, yeah, you looked like Casper the Friendly Ghost after the end of it. It was, yeah, that was, that was crazy, man. Just crazy. I can't comprehend it. I stole from black culture. Why are you offended? Your daddy be cool, wreck daddy like alchemy. Don't make me spank you and dangle your ass off a roof balcony. Oh. You, hang on, what was the alchemy bars? Back this way. Your daddy be cool, wreck daddy like alchemy. Don't make Gold. Oh, yeah, because alchemy, essentially, you want to uh, turn elements into gold. So beating gold records when a record goes gold, playing off of Joe Jackson, just forcing his kids manual child labor. That was mean. There was so much just, oh, my goodness gracious today. This is painful. Elvis is going to have another heart attack if he's not careful. But uh, Michael Jackson's baby. There was that infamous scandal when he held his baby over a balcony. So he's spankling him, spankling him, spanking him, dangling him over a balcony. Spankle, dangle, barankle. I can make up words. Love the transformation to the adult, Michael. Thriller, we all know Thriller. If you've never seen the music video for Thriller, do yourself a favor and go watch it. It's a great song, great music video, great dancing, great singing. Just great everything. It is a classic. And then, um, what was it? Oh, dealing with the uh, the black culture, stealing from that. But haha, ha, you're not really black, Michael. I love how Michael takes that. He's like, listen, just because I added some vanilla, man, we still we still got chocolate in this world. Don't worry about that. Time for a Thriller, didn't lose any chocolate. I just added vanilla. I'm going on the wild. I won't stop till I... Off the wall, we got more song references. Ooh. Ah, forgot about that. Elvis Presley's daughter was married to Michael Jackson. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. And Elvis met his wife when she was 14. I mean, again, disclaimer on that. In, in those days, uh... It wasn't as much the, the 18 thing as it is imprinted in our brains nowadays. I mean, 14 hitting puberty then. Uh, yeah, people, listen, people got married a lot earlier. They had to mature a lot quicker in those days. Just different different time frame, different place. Nowadays, creepy. Funny how things change. 
And you can you can fill that one in. Obviously, he's playing off of Neverland Ranch. He's going to take that and troll him because Elvis trying to troll him for what he does with kids in Neverland Ranch. He's like, well, I, I got your daughter there. Tee hee hee hee. Then you made one daughter. She came to me. I took her to my Neverland Ranch. Tee hee hee. Was Elvis just eating sandwiches and stuffing his face? There he was. Why do they do Elvis dirty like that? One daughter. She came to me. I took her to my Neverland Ranch. Oh, Tito Jackson. He's like the, you know, the black sheep of the family, the unwanted stepchild. Poor Tito. Um, Elvis Presley did serve in the army, didn't he? And then he had an honorable discharge. Then he made movies about being in the army. That's right. Here at Creeper, dude, you like to grab your own winger. I don't let you marry my daughter because I knew you'd never bang her. You think you're tough? Man? <laughs> we got fat Elvis. I get it. I like that. So he's he's... While Michael is rapping, he is just unwrapping his own sandwiches and just shoving his face full. And then all of a sudden, now we get the Elvis in later life when he's fatter. Much as Michael matured, Elvis matured and expanded in a different direction, obviously. Uh, grabbing your own wanger. Again, Michael being a weirdo. We get those lines. And before that, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. We got it. We got it. We're caught up. Let's keep you going. Like to grab your own wanger. I'm going to let you marry my daughter because I knew you'd never bang her. You think you're tough? Because he's implying there you, you don't actually really like women. You like little children. Man, you look like Tootie. I was better than you in my Blue Hawaii movie. You lost your damn mom as well the cast in the... Your own winger. I'm going to let you marry my daughter because I knew you'd never bang her. You think you're tough? Man, you look like Tootie. I... What, what is Tootie from? Oh, my God. Come on, Knox. Nick at night. Nick at night. Nick at night. Oh. What did I watch? Ah, I want to say different strokes. Am I right? Facts of life. What? Pfft. Somebody comment. I can't waste any more time I'm on that. I'm gonna let you marry my daughter because I knew you'd never bang her. You think you're tough? Man, you look like Tootie. I was better than you in my blue. I was in Tootie appeared over his shoulder. Why movie? Blue Y movie, yeah. Uh... Elvis is running around having Lou Alice just, you know, playing the ukulele in that one. So he still looked better. And then again, referencing Michael Jackson's I'm bad. We got that. You think you're tough? Man, you look like Tootie. I was better than you in my Blue Hawaii movie. You lost your damn mom as well the cast in the wind. Oh, Michael just did a classic move when he grabs you. You can't see that because I'm getting shot from the waist up too, but fill in the blank. Like a sad white woman. Oh, God. You in my Blue Hawaii movie. You lost your damn mom as well the cast in the whiz. Like a sad white woman. We never got to be a kid. Oh, my this is, this is, this is, this is over. This is, th I'm sorry, this is over. I'm calling it now. This is, this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. You like a sad white woman. Oh, oh, don't do Michael dirty like that. It's too easy. It's too easy. Yeah, I mean, he just, he didn't look right later on, did he? Did he, people? Come on, let's admit it. I'm, I'm an MJ fan. My wife is a huge MJ fan, but, ah, uh, oh, Michael, why'd you do that? And Elvis. Oh, my goodness. And then, yeah, he played the, uh, the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. Michael Jackson played Scarecrow in Wizard of Oz. Got no brains. Scarecrow had no brains in Wizard of Oz. That's, 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 let's go. Oh. Your damn mom as well the cast in the whiz. <laughs> like a sad white woman who never got to be a kid. I'm out before you try to hold me and free your willy. Later, weirdo. Elvis is alive in the building. <laughs> Elvis is leaving the building. Love the way he does that. Shout out to Free Willy. That was my childhood right there, people. Um, but also freeing your Willy, your Willy Wonka down there. Wouldn't be right if we didn't have Willy bars in an epic rap battle. So freeing your Willy for the kids. Also, didn't Michael write the um, this, the the theme song to Free Willy? I think he did. Wow, there's so much depth to these battles, isn't there? It's crazy. This is insane. And then when Elvis left, uh, because everybody was just crazy about Elvis back then, uh, they had to say Elvis has left the building. That was a very famous thing to do, just to let people know, like, encore's over. He's not coming back again. Like, that's it. He's done. He's done with the show. And he's done with this. Did he do a mic drop, too? Did he? I think he did. You're trying to hold me and free your willy. Later, weirdo. Elvis yep. is alive in the building. I like that. I like that. I love Fridays. Who else loves Fridays? Hopefully I do upload this today. But yeah, I mean, after doing just Eminem and Nas and literally breaking my brain, it's always fun just to have fun and do these epic rap battles. I hope you guys enjoy the journey with me. Please don't take me too seriously when I do this. This is, this is just time to let loose and enjoy it. Hey, I love you guys. Listen, 
E-R-B. You were Knoxville certified. So if you guys liked today's video, if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other ERPs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I'll respond as much as I can, so please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, if you're here at the end of this video, obviously you're enjoying the content. I read a stat, over 70% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Do me a favor. Please support the channel, guys. Hit that sub button with notifications on. As always, it's your reminder to stay safe, stay positive. It's Knoxville. I'll catch you again. I'm out.